Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we've been taking a closer look at the works of mercy, first the corporal works, and now the spiritual. Today, the final spiritual work of mercy, praying for the living and the dead. Here's the thing, though. We've discussed prayers in some depth already during season 10, from episodes 172 to 195, and yes, there are definitely more specific prayers which we could discuss, but instead let's look at specific reasons why we pray for people who are still alive. The first part of that, praying for people, seems to imply that our prayers are intended to benefit people in some way. In episode 172, we outlined the three different types of prayer, adoration, thanksgiving, and petitions. Now, adoration is always directed towards God, and prayers of thanksgiving are about the good things we've received in the past, not about specific living persons. Therefore, prayers for both the living and the dead will always be petitions. We pray for the living and the dead to be given some good thing, or to have their lives change in some positive manner. These prayers are good, drawing us closer to God, making us more loving to our fellow man, and helping us to become more virtuous. They also really help people, though not always the people we mean to direct them towards. Sometimes it might not be best for a specific person to get exactly what we're praying for, so because it would be contrary to the will of God, our prayer might not be fulfilled exactly as stated. First and foremost, we need to trust God in this matter. However, don't worry, all prayers produce some good effects and no prayer is ever wasted. Everyone needs to pray and every living person needs at least some prayers to help them avoid evil and temptation. None of us are able to do everything we need to do without help, so we should certainly give that help to others, especially when we know they need it. That's what praying for the living is all about. However, there's another aspect to this work of mercy which is going to take some work to fully explore. Next, why should we pray for the dead? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.